Here we have three muscles in the extensor aspect of the forearm that acts on our thumb. The first muscle is abductor pollicis longus. Abductor pollicis longus originates from the posterior aspect of the middle radius, the interosseous membrane and the ulna. And the muscle gets inserted to the base of the metacarpal of the thumb here. And this is the tendon of uh, abductor pollicis longus. Action of this muscle is abduction and extension of the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint here. So this is the tendon of abductor pollicis longus. The second muscle is extensor pollicis brevis. Extensor pollicis brevis originates from the posterior aspect of distal radius and the interosseous membrane and inserts to the base of the proximal phalanges here. So this is the tendon of extensor pollicis brevis. Action of this muscle is abduction and extension of the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint and extension of the thumb at the metacarpophalangeal joint. Now the third muscle is extensor pollicis longus and this is the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. It originates from the posterior aspect of the middle ulna and the interosseous membrane and gets inserted to the base of the distal phalanges here. This is the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. And the action of this muscle is extension of the thumb at the carpometacarpal joint, the metacarpophalangeal joint and the interphalangeal joint. So these three muscles, they form the deep muscle group and they come out of uh, the forearm between the two muscles of the superficial group, namely the extensor carpi radialis brevis and the extensor digitorum. So they come out between these two muscles and comes laterally and go to the thumb. So this, these three muscles are together known as the outcropping muscles of the forearm. The space between these three tendons are usually referred to as the anatomical snuff box where anteriorly we have the tendon of abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis and posteriorly we have the tendon of extensor pollicis longus. And the floor of this snuff box is made by two carpal bones, the scaphoid and the trapezium and proximally by the radial styloid.